So I was going to say how the arts faculty uh, was a place where a lot of events took place. Uh, talks, debates, uh, we had a mentioned political forum organized by the students, the history department, uh, the history society, the students union. Uh, we had uh, Lee Kuan Yew coming over uh, at that time the chief minister debating with uh, other political, le political leaders mm. on issues of uh, the formation of Malaysia. Yeah. And then we had the political career, I think, of two uh, AMNO leaders, who later became AMNO leaders, uh, Musa yeah. Hitam and Dr. Mahade, yeah. uh, who came to the uh, arts faculty, the, the, the lectures of theatre, in events organized by the students. Yeah. So, so, in a way, you know, that you, you can say uh, that was the, the uh, place where that, that was where the, the arts faculty provided you know, a, 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 a forum, a place where you, you, you had got uh, uh, debates mm. on social and political issues. Uh, you know, so that was something which I, I thought. And I was going to talk about how um, the arts faculty, especially the history department, uh, had very strong staff, very good you know, scholars. Uh, who taught uh, uh, at the arts faculty, the, the history department. Um, Can you remember any? Oh yes, well, I mean, we had uh, uh, William Roth who wrote on... Uh, yeah, William Roth. You see, the, the, at that time, of course, you had uh, the University of Malaya in Singapore, University of Malaya in Kuala Lumpur, and the history department was... was Almost as good as was as good as the history department in NUS, mm. uh, but uh, being in Malaysia, a larger place, uh, you find that uh, it provided affiliation, a place where uh, young scholars, either uh, for instance the Andayas, <laughs> I think of you know, course, okay, uh, and uh, Heather Sutherland, they f they finished their PhD and they said we must come to the University of Malaya, uh, or they were looking for a place, and what better place? They being uh, scholars on Malaysian history, and to have a period spent in the history department, University of Malaya, uh, and then uh, you have uh, uh, Willem Roth uh, who came, uh, finished his PhD, came, completed his book on uh, the origins of Malay nationalism. So, in a way, therefore, the history department provided a base, a home, to scholars working on Malaysian and Southeast Asian history. So this is where they continue to pursue their research uh, and also to have a teaching experience in an environment which would uh, enrich uh, their, their, their experience yeah. and uh, uh, where they could, uh, you know, they can, well, for the CV at least, you know, they have taught in the University of Maine. The University of Maine was recognized as a good university. Right. Okay, well, um Actually, you've answered a lot of the questions already without you realizing yes, that. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Um, if there was any last things you'd like to say uh, about the 60th anniversary celebration, what mm. would it be? The 60th anniversary. Is it the 60th? Yeah. The 60th. No, I'm going to the 60th anniversary. Yes. Well, that question I didn't didn't quite think of. Yes. Um, What do you hope to see for the faculty? Yeah, not easy, not an easy question to, to answer. Um, let me let, let me see what else I can say mm. about uh, the, the the faculty. You know, something which which may not be very academic, but uh, I don't know whether anyone talked to you about uh, the senior common room, uh, which we used to call Bacha's place. What? Bacha's place. Oh. Uh, the, uh, there was this place at the end of the arts concourse where uh, it's a uh, canteen and was run by an Indian Muslim, a gentleman called Bacha. And that was the place where we served uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Probably the best curry puff in town, best curry, chicken curry. Uh, and at the time, it was the only decent place where you can have food. And uh, so it was a place where the academics 
the scholars will go there for their coffee break. So it was a center of intellectual activity, professors from the other families who would come. And you know, so we always call the place as Bacha's place. Uh, and uh, he later allowed students to buy te tare curry puff at the back of the canteen. I think he made some money too, but very generous man. Uh, he would give um, uh, money, he give loans to students, and sometimes you know not getting the you know, money back. Uh, and, uh, and he would sit down there, uh, talking to students, talking to lecturers, uh, and he sometimes uh, have uh, very cynical remarks, you know, you know and making comments about uh, other academics, uh, and he called himself a professor, a professor of bluffology. Okay, and uh, so that was very much an institution in the arts faculty. So in those days, when we say we want to have a cup of tea, we want to have a conversation, we'll go to Bacha's place. Uh, I, 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 you know, something you know, that the younger generation like you would not uh, know of or even have heard of. No. Yeah, Bacha's and, place. And you guys would just go there and yeah. have a good time. Yes, and I think one of the I, I, one of the differences, uh, something which perhaps we were very fortunate uh, as uh, tutors, uh, in my case in the history department, we used to have uh, coffee break uh, in the history department library where all the staff members would come for coffee and even the head of the department, Professor Van Gamu, would at least drop by if he is in to spend some time. And it was there in the coffee sessions in the history department library that I learned a lot talking to and exchanging and listening to you know, my colleagues or rather my uh, uh, seniors and also the lecturers uh, discussing uh, various issues including research and on history topics. So that was to me a great learning place um, to be able uh, to interact with uh, lecturers, even though I was a lowly tutor at that time. But I think that kind of uh, the, uh, the relationship, the, in a way, a degree of rapport you know, between senior lecturers, the heads of department, with uh, staff members, right down to the level of tutors. Now, I think that is a process by which uh, younger scholars are able to learn uh, besides their own research or from their own reading. Uh, and the history department had at that time very regular uh, seminars, almost I, th I think it was Thursday and after that we would adjourn for lunch. And again, you know, that was a place where uh, young scholars like us had a chance uh, to talk to the, uh, the lecturers, the scholars, and very often visiting scholars who were invited to give seminars. So that is something I'm, I'm not sure whether it's still happening mm -hmm. in the arts faculty, but that was in those days, you know, as a young uh, tutor, we had that opportunity, uh, that uh, uh, facility, uh, the chance to meet uh, uh, good scholars. Mm -hmm. And that was a learning experience. And I still remember uh, an occasion when, uh, again, I was a tutor, got a call one evening from uh, Professor Wang, and he said, come over for tea. Uh, and uh, so I, together with uh, uh, two other tutors, uh, Dr. Kasno Johan, I still remember very clearly, and uh, Dr. Lim Tenggi, I went to his house, which was in the university quarters, you know, uh, and, uh, and who was there? Professor Arnold Toynbee, the great historian, <laughs> and uh, so we had a chance. And, uh, and, and, and again, this shows the, uh, the, the, the what you call, uh, how professors in those days, a person like Professor Wang Gangwo, was able to sort of uh, extend those opportunities, those chances to young scholars, to young tutors like us, to even meet uh, a great scholar, a great historian like Tank, uh, like Arnold Toynbee. Yeah.